happens after dinner. There she was, just a walking down the street, singing do a diddy diddy dum diddy do, a slapping her fingers and a shuffling her feet, singing do a diddy diddy dum diddy do. She looked good, she looked good, she looked fine, she looked fine, she looked good, she looked fine, and I knew I lost my mind. I won that bet. <laughs> to Dr. Susan Friedman of the University of Utah, I would like to talk about people and animals who are treated positively, feel that they have choice, who are empowered, tend to make the most active and significantly positive decisions. And as a matter of fact, they actually recognize that they have choice, that they do have decisions to make, and we can't take that lightly. Our population of animals and their people are at their most vulnerable when they are under our care. They are stressed, afraid, and often unable to process rationally what is happening in their environment. It is so wonderful, it is so good that our profession is moving rapidly towards a more encompassing understanding of what this means for our patients, our clients, and yes, ourselves. With the use of trauma-informed care, cooperative care, and the understanding that emotional support improves medical outcomes. In the current state of the world, we as veterinarians are in a unique position to model the most positive interventions and to push for implementation of humane ethical standards, which consider the means by which we accomplish our goals not just the goals themselves. And the Ohio State University College of Veterinary Medicine is leading the way to a more choice-filled ethical future for veterinarians and the people and animals we care for and thus for society as a whole. I'd like to leave you with a poem by Wendell Berry called The Peace of Wild Things. When despair for the world grows in me and I wake in the night at the least sound in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be, I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water. And I feel above me the day blind stars waiting with their light. For a time, I rest in the grace of the world and am free.